Hello, welcome back to the channel. Coming up in this episode. What, so you just poo in a pit? Well, it goes in a pit. Right. Yeah, and we've got a well. Went to fill up his bike and he, he saw it's got E10, so he panicked. But when I spray the brute all over my body, and yeah. especially on my bits, it burns, but I kind of enjoy it. Well, you know this is gonna be good, so let's get into it. Cue the intro. Well, I'm off to my dad's, and to be completely honest, for me, this is actually a really emotional day, because this is only the last time I ever get to ride with my dad. Now, obviously he's been retired for a while now, he has a couple of houses, but he's selling his house in England, and just living in the absolutely gorgeous French home in the Pyrenees. Now. You know, I'm gutted because we've only literally had one ride together and we were hoping to get an adventure in and have a little bit more time. But his beautiful house here, of course, has sold really quickly. So this is our last ever ride together, our last real opportunity. Now, I do feel emotional and I'm not going to cry. I mean, that's not a tear coming out of my eye. That is not a tear. I am a, a true man and it, you know, doesn't faze me. But I am, you know, it is what it is. But what I'll say is, I'm not going to make it about that. I'm going to do my best not to cry. I'm going to do my best to take this opportunity because I could waste it in this world of, you know, upsetness and, and gutted that he's going. Or I can do the opposite and embrace it and look at it. It's like this is going to be the best ride I've ever done with my dad in my life. So we're going to have a blast. It's going to be fun. And this is going to be a video that I know I'm going to look back on for years and years and years to come with a smile in my face, knowing that me and my dad created this video together. So I'm off to see Senior Lord Head and have an unbelievably amazing day. And I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys. So thank you so much for watching this video and being part of the journey. Well, here we go. There's the sold sign. Let's go and see Senior Lord Head. So this is it. This is the ride, the final one with my dad. And like I said, I'm not going to get emotional at all. But he's selling this house and moving to France. So, Dad, you're selling this absolutely stunning house. We are. And moving to France. Now I've got one very serious important question. Are you going to miss having electric and running water? Yeah, we've got a cesspit. What's that? That's for your toilet. Right. It's not plumbed in, you see. What, so you just poo in a pit? Well, it goes in a pit. Right. Yeah. And we've got a well. That's what I was going to say, because obviously well. in France they just have a well, don't they? They live on French sticks and... And for electric, you just light candles. You don't need electric. We've got candles. We've got a wood stove. 
There you go. And a well for water and a cesspit for, you know, SH. So it's like, like you, it's like your youth then, isn't it? So when during the Second World War, when, when they had all the strikes and there was no electric and stuff like that, well, with the bombs. Where we are was invaded by the Germans. Was it? Yeah. And was that, do you remember that well? Um, I've forgotten about that so long ago. <laughs> You're not that old, are you? <laughs> <laughs> and, and where we are, up on the mountains, there's still ruins of where people were hiding out in the resistance and where the Germans were, wow. etc. And our house was used for medicinal purposes. It's that a big word, isn't it? What, so basically popping drugs and stuff and drinking no, booze? No, no, no. For surgery and everything. Right. For... What like the when people you get that your... got injured? Oh, not not like when you get your wongers chopped off and you become a lady. Oh, they didn't have LGBT in those days. Right, okay. Then there were not a lot of gays in the village. Right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before we get in more trouble, yeah, and we go for a history lesson about the Second World War, yeah. should we jump well, you on did our bikes? I <laughs> yeah, no, wish I didn't. Yeah. Shall we now get on our bikes and oh. just go for a nice ride? A nice ride this yeah, time. A nice ride. I don't want to go green laning. No off roading. No off roading. Nice pub. Nice pub. Proper ale. Yeah. And best sun in the well time. Well, you know I'm in training, don't you? So beer and lots of food and fattening stuff. What? What are you in training for? What? Going up a few jeans sizes? If you're going to drink beer and eat lots of food. But I'm I'm strict, calorie controlled. What, like double a day? <laughs> I don't know where we're going with this either. <laughs> I'm just warning you in terms of, you well, know, I know you like a drink. I'm not paying the bill, so I'm oh. not worried about it. Oh, that'd be simple then. <laughs> we'll just have the chip butty. <laughs> right, let's get on the bikes. Let's okay. go have some fun. All right. All right, here we go. Let's get out of Dodge. Now, that was the most randomest conversation in the world. I didn't quite think it was going to go that way. But hey, well, here we go. We are off. Now, last time we rode together that was in like crazy amount of years we're hoping obviously like i said to get some more rides in but last time we rode he rode along about 20 miles an hour literally everywhere that we went so he's been out a few times since then i'm hoping he's he's picked up a bit of speed he's still indicating the wrong way behind me <laughs> you turn your indicator off mate oh bless it and i believe this was exactly the same place last time we did that but anyway we are going to grab some fuel. We're going to have a lovely country ride and we're going to stop at a very, very nice pub next to a lake and enjoy a beer together. And I am going to keep it lovely today. I might, if any off-roading just comes across us, then, you know, or like craziness, then, you know, it happens. Anyway, fuel, chill out time. Let's go. Woohoo! Well, my dad just uh, went to fill up his bike and he, he saw it's got E10, so he panicked. And <laughs> he's gone round to that pump. That pump all around there says E10 as well. <laughs> so anyway, I'll pay for our fuel, all right? You stay there. <laughs> That's hilarious. What's that? What's that E10 stuff? <laughs> That's what I just said. <laughs> oh, bless him. I said to the uh, bloke at the petrol station, I do apologise, he's a bit <laughs> dotty in his old age. And he doesn't know I said that, so when he watches this back, I can guarantee he'll be spitting out his little bit of whiskey going, how blinking rude. He'll still love me though. Right, come on old man, let's get going. Let's go and make some memories. All right, let's see what he can do speed-wise. Let's pull this down. We'll open it up mate, it's too hot. Right. See what you can keep up. Right, speed limit's 40, we'll do 40. Hopefully you can see him in that mirror. He's keeping up. Oh, I'm probably doing 35. Come on, old man, come on, together. Racing bend, come on. Ooh. And here we hit the national speed limit. Here we go. And go. He is keeping up.
not to bet on the monkey though, not with its race mods. It's going to pull away. There we go. By so watching a tortoise. So the current plan of it is, is we're going to have a little short trip on this main road. We're going to come off and have some beautiful country riding lanes where we're going to spend a little bit of time, have a little bit of a few questions with the old man and then um, we're going to head off to this absolutely stunning pub where my dad can pay the bill this time because I paid for beer last time. So just, you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And then obviously we'll see if he actually does pay the bill. And I'll of course pick the most expensive thing on the menu. No, I won't really. So we've been on the road for literally a minute and we haven't stopped in any way for my dad to go for a wee in a hedge at all in any way whatsoever or, or have a little bit of a rest after that um, epic fuel stop. Now, the thing of it is, I know obviously that our, our family line being obviously lords and obviously my dad being senior lord head, that I have to wear brute. And I also know that my granddad just wore no aftershave whatsoever to keep the ladies away. My dad obviously used to wear this thing called Old Spice because it was out at the time. And then of course, the modern version of that has to be brute that keeps these ladies away. But my biggest question is to my dad, the advice that I'm looking for is that I still struggle to keep, as you can see, all these women away. And you know, what else can I possibly do to protect myself even more? Well, it's a simple solution to the problem because you mentioned your grandfather, which is my dad. My dad was a postman, okay? I thought he was a mounted rider. But he was a mounted policeman originally, but later in life, he was a postman. Did he get sacked? That's Santa. Oh. He was a postman and he came on one day and he said, Barry, I've got a problem because when I'm delivering my letters, these male dogs keep trying to have sex with my leg and I said oh, I know the answer to that because at that time we had a cocker spaniel that was a bitch a girl and we had some stuff so when she was on heat and we took her out all the boy dogs would sniff and go after her but I bought this stuff which was called anti-mate so you sprayed the parts of the bitch right. with anti-mate and so my dad was there with all his postal gear going off to work and guess what I did what did you do go on I sprayed him all over <laughs> with anti-mate so if you ever get a problem with all these women look like I used to and my dad used to with yeah boy dogs yeah get anti-mate and spray it all over every day is, can you, you still buy it? Yeah, yeah. You have to go to, you know, probably go to the vet. So, the anti-mate, Billy No Mate Spray, is absolutely awesome. I love that. That is fantastic advice. But we're on a personal level now. It's our last ride together, and we said we're not going to make it too emotional. I know you're going to cry any minute. It's fine. Don't worry about it. They love it. But I need to ask you a serious personal question now, like father to son, right? Okay. So when i spray the brute all over my body and yeah. especially on my bits it burns but i kind of enjoy it do you find the same thing no no the th thing is that you're not proper jewish are you no ah well that's that's the solution you're not jewish <laughs> no but i'm adopted jewish are you an adoptive jewish adopted jewish because my dad right to my dad right he was adopted Jewish because when he was a mounted policeman, he did it in Jewish land. He didn't do it in England. He did it in Palestine. Right, okay. So they adopted him. So he's adopted Jew? Yeah. Uh, that's... Yeah. Okay. And then Is that you, true as well? If, <laughs> it's true. If, and if, if you do what the Jewish men do, you don't get a problem with the itchy watsu. Well, I don't. I just get a little bit of a burn, and then well, you would a bit do, of but pleasure. That's why the Jews have done what they have done. All right. What do they have done? Well, they they have their foreskin snipped because it keeps everything clean. Can you get that done locally? You get it done, yeah, but you probably have to go privately. <laughs> you would get it done on the NHS, but again, ask the doctor. You, you know. Okay. Well, I'll ask him best, for anti mate. <laughs> and, got, and for him to chop my wing off. Mate. 
yeah, can I be circumcised? However, I would warn you that it's best to be circumcised when you're young. Well, I'm not young. No, I just said you can still have it done. Oh, okay. If you want to be adopted. Okay. Right. Go to the synagogue. The where? Synagogue. Was that like the cinema? No, it's a Jewish church equivalent. Right, okay. Right. So I have to have it done before I go or after I go? Well, they might check on you. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> so your advice is, anti mate, chop the end of your wing wongs off. Yeah. And then you I'll be happy. So I'll have no ladies chasing me ever again. I won't get the burn. You won't get itchy dicky. That's oh, all right then. Thanks for that. I really, that's great advice. I've been pushing away everybody I love I don't know what to do Need a sign from above I just want to be somebody who knows Who knows how to behave But I'm not even close Won't you save, 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 save me? Won't you save, 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 save me? I am out here alone. Well, now we've filmed the ultimate Carl Fogarty tribute scene where quite clearly you can see the awesomeness of our skill level and my dad there literally touching the deck as he went round that corner at roughly 21 and a quarter miles per hour. I was very excited to see that myself and it will make his day when he watches his back and sees those awesome skills. And now we're moving on, we're moving on to one of the most picturesque places ever where we can park the bike up together and share a magical moment staring over at some amazing water, an amazing view. We headed to Pittsford Reservoir just to share this special moment together. Well, here we are at the spectacular viewpoint where my dad might cry at this point because he'll get so emotional. But this is a view that we're going to share together. So the question is, Dad, do you feel excited to be here? Do you feel emotional? Well, apart from the weather, it's pissing down and it's on the main road. You indicated we were going to a beach or something like that. And I was expecting candy floss, sticker rock. Ladies in bikinis. Well, but we get to what, share this beautiful what view. Have I, what have I got? What have I got here? Blimey. I can't cry because you wouldn't see the tears. <laughs> <laughs> right, we might be next to a main road, but it's a pretty view and we're going to share this special moment. Well, can you move out of the way? Then I can see the view. like you've shared a very emotional moment oh it's very yeah that word yes it is i'm looking forward to getting back on my bike with a wet seat <laughs> a wet arse and i can't see out my glasses so, yeah it's very emotional you ever heard of uh, victor meldrew anyway what we'll do let's just go to the pub and get a beer shall we no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting used to it now. <laughs> getting used to getting wet. <laughs> I'm getting used to it now. Because the thing is, Alan, I can't get wet. Well, you can. Well, I, no, I'm you soaked through. You can if you push you in the water. <laughs> right. With your waterproof underwater camera. Well, now we've shared this magical moment. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Well, as we leave, the sun has come out for its beautiful spot, so... He can take in the uh, vast quietness of this main road and the beauty. So that's a big plus. But now we're going to have the nice little country ride out to this picturesque pub in the country, hopefully still serving food to get ourselves something nice to eat and a good old British ale to finish off a lovely day. A lovely day indeed. 
Now I know when my dad looks back at this with tears in his eyes of the memory he shared today of Carl Fogarty Racing Bend to remind us of when we used to hang out when I was younger to the beautiful scenic view that we've just experienced in the peeing it down rain and now the final little country ride together father and son to be able to get to the pub to enjoy an ale now myself as a father I am looking forward to the day that I sit down with my sons and enjoy a beer together in a pub but it's a magical moment absolutely magical moment so I'm looking forward to that is it rude to overtake your dad is it rude or is it one of those things you always wanted to do look at it oh here we go full power tucking in going for the wind rack and i'm doing it i'm doing it i've done it let's just hope he doesn't give me a good whack when i get to the other end for overtaking he probably wasn't that impressed with that bit Anyway, he's got to catch me first. Power! Well, the thing of it is, I kind of went the wrong way and I kind of got us a bit lost and I think I'm heading towards this amazing pub, but I don't really know. And at the point where my dad watches this, he'll probably realise how lost I've just got us. But I'm going to wing it like I do and pretend that I'm the highly trained professional that I am and just use the clouds that's what I'm going to use to find a way to a pub with a late thing in it so it looks like the right pub and it'll be all right. He doesn't need to know. <laughs> it doesn't need to know at all. Well, this is the place and there's no way I'll wing that in any way whatsoever. I completely knew where I was going. Here we go. Let's hope it's open. Yes, it's open. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorites. Well, there you go. Do you know what? What a fantastic day. I mean, we set off together side by side. We went to the most beautiful view in the entire world and shared that moment together. And then, of course, we went for a proper British ale, some nice food in a pub and got to chill out and spend time together. But most of all, we got to ride together today. And do you know what? It might be the last time, but what some awesome memories it really was. So, Dad, our final ride. Brilliant. In proper 11 out of 10 style. 12 out of 10. Oh, even better, 12 out of 10. We rode together, side by side. Side by side. Took like you, the old days. <laughs> like the old days? Yeah. I took you to a lovely view next to a main road in the rain, but you'll never forget that again. Oh, no. Um, and you got a bit of a wet bum on your seat. Yeah. And then we went for a ride to the pub, and of course I didn't get lost in any way whatsoever and magically came across the one I was looking for. Yeah. Country route. Exactly. Yeah. And then, of course, I took you for dinner that you paid for. Yeah. Um, but it was really, really nice. Yeah. yeah. Um, but have you had a lovely day? Brilliant. And yeah. are you going to cry for the camera? <laughs> well, I've got my tissues in here as well. It's kind of getting there. But most of all... <laughs> You done? <laughs> Hang on. Finish right. Now. Most of all, though, generally, have you had a nice day? Fantastic. And obviously, we all know I'm going to come and visit you in France, but the only thing I oh, can yeah. do is hopefully talk you into buying a bike, but we'll discuss that in future, in, in the future, I should say. But most of all, last day here, riding together, what a lovely day. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Well, as always, we save the best and last on this channel, and it is going to be an emotional montage. I'm not going to cry in any way because I'm a proper man. But ladies and gentlemen, I give you the last ride with my dad montage. Enjoy.
Well, there you go. Another absolutely awesome episode. I just want to say a massive thank you to all the people that hit that lovely red button and subscribe to this channel. Without you guys, this channel couldn't grow and it's going from strength to strength to strength. So thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. Also, giving us a comment and a thumbs up. I massively appreciate it. I also want to say a massive thank you to my patrons. These guys are the ones that help support this channel every single month. And without them, I couldn't keep this content coming as quickly as I do. And let alone afford all the equipment and all the stuff we need to make these episodes happen. So thank you so much to my patrons. If you're interested in supporting the channel in that way, becoming part of what I like to call the executive patron club then you can from as little as a pound a month and you go via the link down in the description to patron you get to see the videos first and you get your names in the credits of every single video and do you know what you get to comment on them first and there's a live chat on there it is really a helmet head sort of exclusive club it is really really cool so please check that out like i said a link down in the description as well as the merchandise shop where you can buy the most coolest t-shirts in the world and of course you've got things like the water bottle the mug all the stuff you see in other episode it's all there in the merchandise shop for you to own yourself. So please go and click in the link, check out the shop, buy the bug that makes everything taste a million times better, not proven or guaranteed. And then, of course, we live by three famous sayings on this channel, the most important sayings, the gospel of life, the thing that we all live by. And of course, that's eat pie, ride motorcycles, and be happy. I'll see you in the next bonkers Helmet Head adventure. Bye-bye for now. Tonight we're running on the right track.